The Coin Lady channel is pleased to have you back. Hey everyone, XRP is currently experiencing a much deeper pullback, as we dropped below 50 cents. On the other hand, you're ready for this. This was always a possibility, we discussed it several times. Plus, we're in this together, therefore we'll survive. After these dips, we'll start to go off, and everyone will be expecting it. So that's when we'll see the real excitement start. Caution, BlackRock is not the place to sell your Bitcoin. As for Bitcoin, it is the current situation. Since individuals are peddling it, at lower prices, BlackRock is purchasing it. Not only Bitcoin, but other cryptocurrencies as well. Follow the money. Ordinary crypto investors are griping about falling prices while institutions are buying. When everyone else is freaking out, that's when you want to purchase cryptocurrency, not at the beginning of a green candle or halfway up, because that's when there will be blood in the streets. And such is the current state of affairs. Plus, I have no idea what's happening within the XRP community. What struck me most, though, is that we have formed cliques, just like in high school. Also, there are those who believe just in the hype. Some people follow both the hype and the facts, while others find a happy medium and stick to only the facts. Additionally, there are instances when individuals do require encouragement in the form of hype. That is something I got. That is perfectly okay. However, the excitement is becoming excessive. As soon as an XRP ETF is announced, some claim prices will soar above $100. We won't see that happen. That is the reason behind the video I made yesterday. When I observe something, I feel compelled to share my thoughts and feelings about it. That is to say, I will expose it for what it is, crap. I could care less. Not to mention that it irritates many. On the other hand, I'd prefer to tell you the truth before I tell you the lies. It appears like Ripple and Sec have settled their differences, according to experts. Consequently, this was revealed in a recent ex post by Ashley Prosper. Ripple and the SEC have not settled, as far as I am aware. It appears that way, though, everyone appears to be an authority on the subject out of nowhere in these articles. Refrain from this. They are regular people who invest for fun, just like you and me. He simply expressed his uncertainty about whether a resolution will be achieved on Monday. No one knows. That's why I stress the need of not getting overly excited about anything. Put your expectations in check. And we'll watch the results unfold. This way, you won't have to worry about being let down. To maintain your strength in the cryptocurrency market, it is helpful. The industry greatly appreciates Ripple. In my opinion, banks are finally starting to see the light and come to terms with the fact that Ripple has the most advanced technology for transferring funds, which will lead to our financial success. This brings us to Lesson 32 on the immense value, scope, vision, and mission that Ripple is providing to society. The debt enslavement system is dead, and I recall that not long ago, when we were first starting out, money was merely a phrase. After all the money ripples are beginning to resemble a bank every day, you might witness ripple going today. In the end, we want to be wealthy off of our XRP, and all these payment rails that are being set up globally to support it will help us get there. Look at the directions the ripples are moving in, I mentioned this more than once, even last year. Custody tokenization, carbon credits, cross-border payments. Collaborating with the world's major central banks, all of this money is now their target. Boom. XRP and central banks are teaming up to make cross-border CBDC transactions, the wave of the future, a breeze. There are some serious repercussions at the core of this as major international institutions like the International Monetary Fund, IMF, the Bank for International Settlements, BIS and national governments discuss adopting digital currencies like the euro, the dollar, and the pound. Everything is fitting together so well, even inside the BRICS and the Fed at the moment.
When I say that, it is precisely what I mean. The BBB Fed currently standard, ISO 222, is scheduled for simultaneous implementation on March 10, 2025. Archival content from August 10, 2022. And we are still on schedule for 2025. And everyone keeps harping on the fact that XRP's price won't change until 2025. That's completely misconstrued. Reason being, other nations will activate their systems before the Federal Reserve does. The second wave will be in 2024. Not only that, these institutions are prepared to act immediately and won't wait for the Fed to intervene. Just consider the digital euro for a moment. Due to the expedited schedule set by BRICS, they are moving quickly. To top it all off, I'm not ruling out the possibility of Fed activation before March of 2025. In my opinion, it will happen sooner, probably before the year ends. However, I enjoy just about everything. I'm just going off of personal speculation here. Everything is happening at a faster pace if you compare it to current events in the actual world. When did this whole thing begin? Everything began at the World Economic Forum, and the topics discussed there might, or might not have any bearing on the future of our planet. I suppose we'll find out when we enter. The World Economic Forum consistently brought up these digital currencies. Dara H. Bar is one of several that have been introduced since then. I also envision Nexera becoming huge in the future, and they are talking about it now. Additionally, Quan has already left. But behind the scenes, they were plotting this whole pandemic thing. June of 2021 is the date of this. Everything that happened after it is known as fast track. I mean, at a rate that I didn't anticipate, when I started out. That is, in the years 2022 and 2021. In my mind, this is more likely to occur around the year 2030. But that's not the case now. I knew it was over the day Russia announced the CBDC in 2020. Things are about to get rolling, and they're going to have contrary to popular belief. ISO 222 adoption will actually take place in 2025 to 2026. Basel, 3 ISO, the biggest plumbing update ever, and the truth is that these banks are updating and adopting digital technology right now, transforming the banking business. This is a byproduct of smoke. Well, that concludes our video. Like and subscribe as usual, and feel free to leave a comment with your opinions. Coming up shortly, farewell.